We often talk about Celebrate Recovery being for anybody who struggles with a hurt, hang up or have it. So whether you're somebody who was hurt as a child and you're still dealing with those issues or you've got people pleasing hang ups and things that keep you stuck in relationships or you're addicted to something, food, sex, alcohol, whatever it is, that Celebrate Recovery is really for anybody. In fact, that's the truth. Celebrate Recovery is for all of us because we've all been hurt and we've all hurt other people. We've all got things in our lives that keep us stuck and keep us frozen, things we wish we didn't deal with. And for many of us, we have these addiction issues that also just rob us of any joy or peace that we have in our life. But you know, there's another group of people that we call dual diagnosis. And this is somebody who struggles with an issue in Celebrate Recovery, but they also have a mental health issue. And this is somebody who's got depression and this depression leads them to self-medicate or somebody who's got suicidal thoughts and they also self-medicate or whatever that issue is. And so with Celebrate Recovery, really, it's part of a, a process that can help anybody, but there are, so, there are some times where we need a little more. Maybe we need to be going to a church counselor or a professional counselor who can prescribe us medicine. Maybe we need to be in a support group where we work through something that's going on in our lives while we work through Celebrate Recovery. The thing about Celebrate Recovery is that it's a biblical program and it's got eight principles that lead us from one place to the next place over one day at a time after one day at a time. So we begin where we realize that we're not God. We come out of denial. We face our fears. We face the problems that have keeping us stuck. We turn our lives over to Jesus. We do things like taking a moral inventory of our lives and we look at all the things that we've done have been done to us to help us come out of that. We talk to other people about what's happening. Then at the end, we serve other people because we believe that God uses our pain so that we can help other people when they go through pain. And so what we really wanna do is just tell you about this ministry, this place where you can come and you can find healing no matter what's going on in your life. We have some people that have gone through Celebrate Recovery for years that have dealt with issues like anxiety and they wake up every morning in a cold sweat and they just look at their day and they think, how am I gonna get through today? Well, by going to a counselor and by working the principles and steps of recovery, they're able to find day by day freedom over that issue. We have other people who are severely depressed and they also need to find a way out. There's people like me who struggle with anxiety and am a recovering alcoholic. And I know that when I'm hurting, I medicate. Now, I haven't medicated with alcohol for over a decade, but I can find anything, whether it's working out or whether it's you know, spending money or anything, just give it to me and I will overdo it. And so we find that we've got these issues and what we need to do is we come clean about it. We talk to each other about it. We talk to God about it. We allow him to work in our lives and to find the thing that's really causing us pain. You know, the reality of it is, is that whatever we're doing tends to be a symptom. We think I need to come to recovery because I drink too much or I'm online too much or I spend too much money. And while that's true, we need to get out that simple behavior. We need to root it out. The truth is, is that often the reason we're doing those things are buried deeper inside of us. And so that's what recovery allows us to do. It allows us to find that, that pain that's in our lives, that's keeping us frozen, keeping us stuck. And so that's all about Celebrate Recovery. We hope that you'll go to CelebrateRecovery.com and find a ministry near you, a church near you who does Celebrate Recovery so that you can work through your issues, so that you can help other people who are struggling with something similar. We'll be praying for you.